41 factorial whole square divided by 82. 41 factorial whole square divided by 82. Now, before solving this problem, let us take some important properties. P minus 1 factorial divided by P. It is always P minus 1 if a P is the prime. Just a recap of what we discussed in our class. P minus 2 factorial divided by P. It is always 1 when P is a prime. Reminder 1. P minus 3 factorial divided by P. It is P minus 1 by 2 whenever P is a prime. These are some important key points with respect to Wilson's theorem. Now what I do is, because 83 is a prime number, so what I do is, I take the second one. 81 factorial divided by 83 is 1. Second product. 81 factorial can be written as 1 into 2 till 41 into 42, 43 till 81 divided by 83. It is 1. 1 into 2 till 41. It is 41 factorial. 42 divided by 83. 83 ones are 83. Negative reminder minus 41. 83 ones are 83. So it is minus 40. 81 by 83 minus 2. When you further divide, answer does not change. 2 to 41. There are how many numbers? 40 numbers. 2 to 41. 41 minus 2 plus 1. 41. 40 negatives are positive. So, 41 factorial whole square divided by 83. The answer is 1. Answer is 1. 41 factorial whole square divided by 83. These are some important key points. Forty-one factorial whole square divided by eighty-three. It is not always. Please do not draw any conclusion that if it is p, p minus one by two factorial whole square by p, it is always one. No, it depends upon the question. Eight factorial whole square. Eight factorial whole square divided by seventeen. 8 factorial whole square divided by 17. So this will be 15 factorial divided by 17 is 1. 15 factorial will be 1 into 2 and so on up to 8. 9, 10, 11 and so on up to 15 divided by 17. It is 1. This entire number is 8 factorial 9 by 17 17 ones are 17 minus 8 minus 7 till minus 2 divided by 17 it is 1 2 to 8 there are 7 numbers 7 negatives will be negative minus 1 8 factorial divided by 17 is 1 so 8 factorial divided by 17 it is minus 1. Negative reminder minus 1. Positive reminder 16. Just to tell you that for all these kind of problems answer is not always 1.